once we've logged into Pharonix Cloud and we've created a policy that contains uh, whatever services we want to install on our computers uh, configured in the way that we want them to be configured, the next step is going to be to install uh, both the cloud agent as well as apply a specific policy to the computers. Uh, in order to do that from the home screen in the uh, DeepFreeze cloud interface, we'll see there's an install cloud agent button towards the upper left. Uh, if we click on that button, you'll see we're given several options that we can uh, configure when it comes to deploying the software or installing the software on our computers. First and foremost, towards the top, we have the ability to automatically specify a group that the computer that we install the software on will automatically be assigned to. So in this case, I've got four groups. Uh, the default group is the one that's uh, created automatically, uh, but I've got an administrative, a lab workstations, and a location one group. So in this case, uh, what I'll do is I want to ensure that when I install the software on the computer, it's automatically assigned to my lab workstations group. The second option we have is uh, the ability to specify the policy that we want to install on these computers. Uh, again, the default policy or the Pharonix default policy is created automatically. I've created three additional policies here. So uh, the DF uh, underscore SU policy simply um, uh, tells me that this policy contains deep freeze and the software updater service. I'll select that policy and now I need to select uh, the method that I want to install the cloud agent and uh, the appropriate uh, software associated with the policies um, uh, on the workstations. And uh, the options that exist uh, are, are as follows. So there's four options available. Uh, the first option is to download an installer uh, to install on any computer. And what this option does is it simply provides uh, an executable file that will install the cloud agent as well as include uh, any of the software associated with the services enabled within the policy. Uh, and uh, of course, the configuration associated with that policy. The second option uh, allows you to easily create a URL um, that you can uh, copy and uh, provide to users or, or carry around with you uh, in a text file on a thumb drive or anything like that. And if we uh, enter this URL uh, in a web browser on the destination computer, and uh, uh, hit enter, what that will do is actually do the same thing as download the installer. It'll download that exe file locally on that computer, uh, which can then be run. And again, it will install the, the cloud agent as well as the uh, services and the configuration associated with the policy you're looking to apply. The third option here uh, actually will download a, a deployment utility. And uh, we'll take a look at the deployment utility here. This is really handy if you're looking to deploy to a large number of workstations that are located uh, on the same network that you're located on. So this will download a tool that will scan your network. Uh, it will discover workstations that are located on that network. You can see here uh, I've got a large number of workstations uh, located on this network. At this point in time, again, up towards the top, I can specify the policy that I want to apply and simply check boxes beside the workstations that I want to install that policy on. Um, click the install button and that will push the software out, uh, the cloud agent, as well as once again, the software associated with any services enabled within that policy. I'll just close out of here. And the last option is the ability to download an MSI installer. So if you're looking to deploy the software using a third-party deployment utility and you'd prefer to take advantage of um, the capabilities that exist with MSI Exec, you can download an MSI installer and use that to um, push the software out using a, a tool, uh, group policies, active directory tools, uh, as well as if you're using a third-party desktop management platform such as Dell Case or SCCM, uh, the MSI installer route will be uh, the route you want to go. Uh, once you've uh, downloaded that MSI, much like the EXE file, you simply deploy it out to your workstations and once again, it will install uh, the um, software and the cloud agent associated with the policy that you've specified above, uh, as well as place those workstations into the group you've specified. And that is uh, really the, the options and, and methods that are available to deploy the software uh, that will allow your computers to easily connect to our cloud platform and, uh, of course, will install the uh, software associated with the services you've configured within your policies.